Hello everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, we are going to be now hitting all Elden Ring bosses in UN Plus with the Bloodhounds Claws. This cool weapon is presented as a very good option for a strength build, but it actually works better with dexterity. Today, I want to show you the true potential of this crazy weapon when it's used under the correct parameters. First of all, I'm going to show you the build and then we will be the every major boss of the game without taking a single hit. But before we have a quick message from today's video sponsor. MMOEXP is the best web service where you can acquire as much runes and items as you wish for an amazing price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. As I said before, in a keen infusion with high dex, we will get more damage than with a heavy infusion with high strength. That's why we are going to level up vigor to 40 and endurance to 35. To get the max damage possible, we will level up dexterity to 93 and fate to 60. With this stats we are going to be able to cast Golden Vow and Howl of Shabriri, and at the same time we will get the max benefit from Blood Flame Blade. This weapon buff requires a minimum of 10 points on Arcane. Bloodhound's claws have to be upgraded to plus 25 and infused on the Keen Affinity with the Crackblade Ash of War. I chose this Ash of War to have an alternative weapon buff when facing a target that doesn't bleed. We need any seal we have available to cast our main buffs. As you know, you can wear any armor set you like, but this time I will be rocking the War Surgeon set with the White Mask. This helmet will increase our damage every time a blade proc occurs nearby. The best talismans to use in this build are the Rituals or Talisman, the Lord of Blood's Exultation, the Millicent's Prosthesis and the Roaring Windsor Insignia. However, the Fire Scorpion Charm and the Axe Talisman are very good alternatives that you can use if you are missing one of the previous talismans. In our Flask of Wondrous Physic, we are going to be using the Flame Shrouding Crack Tear and the Thorny Crack Tear, but you can also use the Stonebark Crack Tear or the Spike Crack Tear depending on the situation you will face. This weapon doesn't consume a lot of stamina, so Pickle Turtle Legs are very very optional items for this build. If you want, you can equip any weapon with Seppuku to use it before any combat. That way you will start the match with the damage bonus from the White Mask and the Lord of Blood Talisman. However, you will get these benefits as soon as you apply Bleed on your target, so if you don't like the idea of using much buffs before a match, you don't have to do it. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fights? What is it going to be, bro? Nice. That was it. <laughs> Combat boy, big boy, big graft boy. Oh, that was a bad idea for you, bro. No! You crazy! You have to do the other one, not this one. Okay, okay, but I got you. Don't worry. No, 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 no. You don't. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> one be one, bro. Yeah. No way. <laughs> the damage was very insane, especially because I was hitting the leg, I was not hitting the horse. Was it for you, my boy? <laughs> wow! <laughs> hey, fire giant! Oh, that was a little bit late, but didn't matter. Okay. I don't like this angle. Wow! Okay, let's see what we can do. Ooh. Oh! Take this one! <laughs> he needed a little bit of more damage, man. Wow, the damage this fist and claw weapon deals is very stupid because I have tried some some great swords and colossal weapons that are very difficult to use because of the low amount of damage they deal. Oh! 
Okay, I got you, bro, with my claws. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm an idiot. Let's go. My claws. Come on, bro. Oh, going wild. Claws. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's go. <laughs> it was a weird Loretta fight, honestly. <laughs> the difficult part of playing with this weapon is the range as well. It's very similar with the Iron Ball. That was amazing, guys! And he has to come. If he doesn't come, he's crazy, dude. Nice. Nice. Take that one, bad boy. Ooh. Oh! Bad luck, my boy! Bad luck for you, man. Oh, I'm gonna give it to you. Yeah. Stylish, you deserve it, my boy. Let me... Please? You deserve it, you deserve it. Nice. Oh, bad idea, buddy. Oh, I told you that it was a bad idea. Nice, bro. <laughs> it was a bad idea, man. <laughs> oh, my God. That was just decent, dude. Okay. Dang it, man. That was it. Hold on, hold on, buddy. Okay. Okay, that's some real damage on the Elden Beast. What? This damage is even higher than the... I, I don't know, dude. Wow, but it's very similar to the Iron Balls, dude. I didn't even have to use Crack Blade again. That's insane. Okay. Let's go! <laughs> Fast as crazy, guys! Let's go! That's what I'm talking about. And we go. You are not going anywhere, good boy. That was Mock. <laughs> that was Mock. And there is the DLC that we are waiting for. <laughs> Nice. 
nice. I think I will go wild with the light attacks. guys crazy just a few weapons can do this guys just a few weapons Nice try, guys. Nice try. <laughs> I mean, Astil. <laughs> I got you. I got you, Renala. Okay, please. Be a decent second phase, please. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. She didn't react at all. Let's go. Oh, fast. It was fast. Okay, bad boy, come here. Give me some jumps. Let's go! <laughs> Come on, Wolfie. Stop the cap, bro. Yeah, that was enough, bro. Ding it! Okay, according to the damage it resists, the damage should be decent, but not insane. But yeah. But yeah, you don't listen to that stuff, right? <laughs> Let's see if we can handle this, bro. Oh, oh man, I'm very bad. Take that one. Oh my god. Yeah, dude. Okay, we are ready to go. First of all, we are going to, uh, we are going to use Golden Bow. As always, then our Pickle Turtle Neck if we want. Then Howl of Shabriri. And then, if you want, this is completely optional, you can use Seppuku at the start of the fight. If, if you don't want, then skip it. Then use your, your Physic. And heal if you use Seppuku. If you don't, then don't. Use Blood Flame Blade. Two hand your weapon, and you're ready to go. And this is going to be insane. There you go. There you go. Wow, that's crazy. And now we go with the big boy. And that's it, guys. That way you will start with the buff of the talisman and the mask. If you don't want to do that, then it's not necessary. Once you get the bleed proc on your enemy, you will get it. Okay, homie. Don't be a bad boy, please. Please. <laughs> Let's go! Let me know in the comment section which other weapon you would like to see. I will bring it as soon as possible. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. That way you will support me a lot. Have a great day, guys. My name is Carlos, and I'll see you in the next one. Close!